Hello everyone. Today I'll be telling you about a very good uh, mathematics app uh, which can be used beautifully in geometry uh, for various purposes. And the good thing is that it is valid for all the classes right from uh, where we begin with geometry, the line, line segment, the angles, um, triangles, quadrilaterals, parallelograms, even for statistics. At various places, it can be very efficiently used by the teachers. So uh, let me tell you how to use the app. I just type GeoBoard and I get GeoBoard app free. Now I just click here the first GeoBoard by Math Learning Center. And my GeoBoard is ready to be used. Now if I need it for junior classes, I just need to show line segments or angles. Uh, this is a very apt uh, GeoBoard, a smaller one. But if I want to use for the senior classes, I need a bigger GeoBoard. So this can be used. If I need a circular geo board, then circle board can be used. So this is a circle board. It can be very well used for the pro to explain the properties of the circle. I go back here because this is where I'll be using it majorly. So this gives me a grid uh, I have got wherein I have all these uh, have been joined using the line segments. If I just click here, then the grid gets labeled. Uh, with the numbers, the numbers are getting marked. So if I take this to be as a coordinate axis, this has the X axis and this is the Y axis, the positive, the first quadrant if I take, then this is the origin and I get the mark like this here and I get them marked here again. For teaching mathematics, I can write the numbers from here. I can write few mathematical symbols also. If I want to write the text somewhere, so if I write, let's say, uh, alphabet A if I want to write so the A alphabet is being written I can change the color of the alphabet uh, any color I can uh, write here so if I have written A over here I choose again uh, the letter B here again the yellow color and it is done so I have the points now if I take this as point A and this is point B I can join them uh, using this pencil so this is the pencil tool if I want to join it with freehand See, I've got this pen here by clicking there. So I can join it with freehand like this. But Not what I like if I want to draw something, if I want to write something. Let's say if I want to write a line segment here. So I can write this line segment over here. But to use this, instead of writing it like this, what I do is I, I do not write it like this, but I use this. So this gives me a straight line. See here, this is a straight line that I get. If I want to join, see, I can take this to any point. So this is where I have taken it. I can take it from here to here. So these are all the line segments that I have drawn. From A to B, I can draw a line segment. So I can draw any line segment, and hence I can draw any figure. If I want to draw a triangle, it's very conveniently it can be drawn because I have the points. I can join them. So this is how I can use it to draw any figure on this grid. This is the eraser. So if I want to erase it, See, this can be beautifully erased. Whatever I had written, it can be erased. So whatever I have used, uh, if I want to select an area, then clear all drawing. So if I can, the complete thing can be cleared in one go. -lay. I come to the rubber bands and see the rubber bands that have been given here. Colorful, beautiful rubber bands have been given. Supposing I want to demonstrate the parallelograms or the triangles on the same base between same parallels are equal in area. So let's say, I take this first rubber band I take, I change, turn it, and I'm getting this line segment I have got. And this is the, I take the another set, and I got, I turn it, and I have got the second parallel line segment here. Let me take a rubber band, I'm taking the green color, and I make a triangle with it. Then I just uh, lift it up from here, and this is the triangle that I have got. So this is the first triangle that I get. What does it say here? Its area is going to be, this is 5 units, the base and the altitude is 4 units. So the area comes out to be half into 5 into 4. That means 10 units squared. Let me take another triangle now. On the same base I am taking, so this is the base and I take the triangle. Let's say this is the other triangle that I have taken. Now this is again the triangle on the same base and between the same parallels. What do I get? What's, it, what's its area? Its area is half into base into the altitude. So again, base is 5. Altitude is again 4. So the area comes out to be five, half into 5 into 4. So 10 units squared. So beautiful demonstration of 
the concept that the triangles on the same base and between same paddles are equal in area. Similarly, I can use it to prove the parallelograms on the same base and between same paddles is equal in area. Just let me clear everything. Uh, so clear all. Now I can use, if you see this a circular geo board, let me take. I take another rubber band and I take it here. I just stretch it and I'm taking it here. So what is it formed? This to be as a circular boundary, I can say that the angles in the semicircle is 90 degree. If I take another um, rubber band and I just pull it here, if I use a protractor and measure this angle, or if I measure this angle and this angle, then they are going to be same. So that shows that the angles in the same segment are equal. I can take it for that matter. I can take another. Uh, see, I can take here and I can show it that this angle, this angle and this angle are all same with the protractor. You can show it to the students in your class that these all these angles are coming out to be equal. Exactly the same way. If I take one red rubber band and I join it here and I stretch it to find out at the center. So if I take this angle, if I find it out, whatever was the angle at the circumference, let's say this was 30 degrees each, then this is going to come out to be 60 degree angle. So the we can show that angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. Again, if I want to use, I can show the cyclic quadrilateral. I can show the exterior angle property of the cyclic quadrilateral. I can show the opposite angles of the cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. All that can be shown using this geo board. Once again, let me go back to the rectangular geo board. So I've marked the axis over here. I want to make a histogram, let's say. Very nicely, I can make a histogram also. See, I have made a histogram like this. I so in statistics also it can be used. I can uh, make a frequency polygon also if I want to make a frequency polygon. I can make bar graphs from it. I can show them the properties of the triangles. I can show various types of triangles to the students. I can make the triangles and ask them what kind of triangle is it? Is it an isosceles triangle? By look of it, children will be able to identify. Whether it's an obtuse angle triangle, it's an acute angle triangle, a right angle triangle. Angles, I can find out what kind of angle is it. So various things can be done using this one geo board. And supposing I, if I've made this geo board, let's say, and I want to share it with my students. So again, it's very simple. This is the share where I button. I can share, I can save the image, I can copy the image, I can copy the link of this image, and I can share it with the students. So this is how easy it is to use a geo board uh, try using it there are so there's so much you can do with it if i want to write something on it this is what this is a histogram again i use this to draw the straight lines see here i can mark the arrows with this if I want to draw a kink, if I want to change this area, this can, let's say this was 10, 20, 30, 40, I can mark, label them like this. So whatever I want to use here, I can use, the color can be changed, or whatever I want to write, supposing I use the histogram, I can write the scale over here in the histogram. Uh, statistics becomes very simple using this geo board in the online environment. I can um, use it for different ways different classes i can use it the way i want so i hope this tool is going to be a useful one for you uh, please explore it more and more and i'm sure you'll find it a wonderful thing to learn thank you so much